ABC's News Channel. This is ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Well, now it's time to take a first look at weather with uh, Chief Forecaster, I should say Chief, weather forecaster Ryan Hoke. Welcome back. Of course, it's been a beautiful day. It was a wonderful day to spin outside. Doing it, you know, it really was. We got up to 83 degrees today, and a look outside right now reveals that, hey, it's pretty nice out there as well this evening. If we take a look at our numbers from today, 83 was our high. We got down to 66 degrees this morning here in Jackson. And hey, I think it's going to be a pretty nice night here on tap. Let's look at some of the precipitation numbers from today as well. We didn't have any rain. In fact, we haven't seen any rain here in quite a long time, but that could change over the weekend here. I'll have those details coming up. Let's look at fast track radar right now. It's not revealing anything over the area right now. No precipitation to worry about at all this evening. Looking at your weather headlines, though, we're going to see a shower chance by early week here. This will probably start tomorrow and extend into Monday. Those sunny skies will return and also pleasant daytime temperatures. We're going to see temperatures under the 90 degree mark throughout this week, so it's going to be a really nice week. John Quill. Thank you, Ryan. Well, for tonight was a beautiful day to be out under the stars, but is the sun ever going to come back? That's true. Yes, it was a very nice night to be under the stars. The sun will come back, but there are some changes in store in the forecast. We'll have the details coming right up. Now, ABC 7 Storm Team Weather. Hope you're having a good evening so far. It is an absolutely gorgeous evening out there right now. If we take a look at our storm tracker, fast track radar, it's not showing anything across the area, but current conditions right now, 64 degrees, dew point at 52. 52 is way below that threshold for feeling muggy out there, so it's definitely a good night to get out there and do some activities. Although it is a little cloudy out there, I think it still is a pretty good night. And across the region as well, we're seeing 66 in Dyersburg, 62 in Union City, all the way to 67 in Corinth right now. So it's a nice night around the area as well. The water vapor imagery right now is showing us that we've got a little bit of moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere trying to stream into the Jackson area, but the dew points at the surface are just too low to be generating any sort of rain right now. So we're going to stay clear throughout the night here as we go throughout the next few hours, of course. And here on the Doppler radar, well, we've got a line of showers and thunderstorms from central Missouri all the way up into Michigan here, but none of that will affect us here. In fact, we do have a state stationary boundary to our south in Mississippi as well. So it's going to be a very nice night. And as we zoom in here, you can see at a high resolution view that everything's pretty much burned off in terms of precipitation across West Tennessee for today. So the night looks pretty good. And now our satellite view, infrared satellite view showing us these clouds around the area. We do have some holes in them, so it's partly cloudy out there. So you can might be able to see the moon shine through a few of those, but overall pretty cloudy throughout the area right now. Vipercast showing very well. There's this stationary boundary all the way up to the east coast, and that's not going to move anywhere, not going to affect our weather over the next 24 hours. But we do have a disturbance coming through from the west that will start to move in here tomorrow morning. We'll start to see some increased cloud cover with that. And as an area low pressure begins to move to the north and to the east, it will interact with that disturbance, and we'll start to see that very enhanced cloud cover. We might even squeeze out a few showers out of that as well. I'm going to put it at like a 20% chance right now. So I think we'll definitely see some clouds and maybe a few spring and showers across the area as well. If we take a look at our forecast for tonight, though, we don't have any rain in the forecast. 55 degrees, a very nice night on tap, partly cloudy and pleasant with a northeast wind at five, keeping things dry for this evening across the area as well. 55 in Alamo, 58 in Somerville for tonight. Pretty warm, though, in Memphis at 63 as we get down there for tonight. But then for tomorrow, we're going to warm it up to about 77 degrees. Now, if we get a few more rain showers than we're anticipating tomorrow, we might not make it to that 77 degree reading, but I do think a lot of places will see upper 70s, especially here in Jackson. Again, that 30 to 30% 30 rain chance there with a north northeast wind at five miles per hour. So we're going to keep things cloudy tomorrow and definitely throw in that small rain chance as well. As we go throughout the day tomorrow as well, we're going to see 78 in Memphis, 75 in Carruthersville, and 75 in Union City as well. So a pretty nice day if you can avoid those rain showers there as we go throughout the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. It looks pretty good. 
after Monday when we're going to see sunny skies return. High pressure will regain control of the region, so we're going to see pleasant conditions. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s for Tuesday. How about that? Get out there and enjoy it on Tuesday because we're going to bump things up just a little bit there into the mid 80s by Thursday. Overnight lows will range from 49 to 58 this week. I think that 49 there is probably going to be our coldest low there for this week. It looks pretty good though as we go throughout the weekend here and then into next weekend when we could see 82 degrees and sunny skies by Saturday. How about that? We could see a small front come through here next weekend as well. So we're going to have to watch for that and make sure that it doesn't squeeze off any showers. So we're going to watch that throughout the next week and please, please, please enjoy this week because it's really nice out there and the temperatures are going to be just awesome. John Quill. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Sounds good. Welcome back, everybody. Now, first off, Adam, yes, the UT band has a <laughs> lot more songs in their repertoire other than Rocky Top, but it's one of the favorites. Fair enough. But, fair of course, enough. today was a good day to be outside enjoying some football. It was a wonderful afternoon. Clouds were gone, so sun wasn't too hot. Yeah, but. really, it was. We got up to 83 degrees today, and for the next week or so, it's going to look pretty good if we can get through the next couple of days. Let's take a look at that seven-day forecast. 77 degrees tomorrow with partly cloudy skies then 70 on Monday mostly cloudy. We're going to throw in a 30% chance of rain. There is an area of low pressure kind of exit off the to our northeast there. So we're going to see that rain in here, possibly just some scattered showers at most, not an all day rain. And then Tuesday through Saturday. Look at that utterly pleasant weather sunshine throughout the whole week there pretty much 77 80 and 84 respectively there on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and it looks like a really awesome week all right well thank you so much Ryan it looks like it's gonna be a nice time to get you out in the sun well thanks for watching see you tomorrow